Hey everyone, welcome to another brand new FC24 video. Here is Jedi Jester and we're going to take a look at the most important basic skill moves that you need to work with. Since defending got a lot harder this year, these skill moves became a lot more efficient if you can use them in the right spots. So let's immediately start with the first one. Even I am really delighted to say this, but ball roll is the most efficient skill move for the start of the game. It is most probably the easiest skill move in the game, which allows you to shield the ball while changing its direction. With the help of it, you can create new passing and shooting angles, and the only requirement it has that you do it with a player with at least 2 star skill moves. So, almost every player can execute it. To be able to perform a ball roll, slightly push the right analog stick either towards your player's left or right. You need to make sure that you're not sprinting if you want to execute the skill move. If you're running, make sure to let go of the sprint button, otherwise you won't be able to execute this move. With the ball roll, you can dodge incoming defensive movements. This year, defenders can change directions that easily if they sprint too much or overcommit to a direction, so with the simplest ball roll, you can dodge them. Take a look at the spot they want to defend, in which they will make their defensive move, and execute the ball roll away from that direction. You can also create new passing lanes and massive goal scoring angles with the ball roll. Changing the ball's direction can easily create a new passing angle towards your intended target, and this can eliminate the threat of the defender that could intercept the pass. Or, if you think like you don't have the proper angle to shoot the ball towards the goal, a simple ball roll can create the perfect angle to blast it in. As you can see, ball roll fulfills multiple purposes and opens up a lot of space ahead of you. It is then important what to do with that space. You might probably need a skill move which helps you accelerate in the open, and therefore, we have step overs. Step overs are again very effective. They require players with 2 star skill moves, and since they consist of two parts, they have a lot of combinations. The first part is the initial move that you execute with the right analog stick, and the second part is the exit from the move, which is given by the input of your left analog stick. If you move the right analog stick towards your player's front and rotate it 90 degrees towards his left or right, you do a normal step over. If you start the step over from your player's left or right side and push the right analog stick towards his front by rotating it 90 degrees, you initiate the reverse step over. Even though you can change the ball's direction on the second step of a step over with the help of the left analog stick, I find the variation of going straight forward the most useful. If the defender is being sloppy on the wing and covers you only from the side, allowing you some space ahead of you, don't hesitate, execute the step over towards forward, and make sure to use your sprinting button after the first step to get the full acceleration you need. Let's have an example. Here, I see that the opponent switched a bit late, so he has to move his defender a bit towards the upper side. Trusting that, I rotate my attacker towards the lower side and execute a straightforward step over. The acceleration it gives allows me to get past the opponent and creates a huge chance for me. Unfortunately, the shot went out even if I green timed it. I thought I was doing the right thing, but after watching the scene once more, I was convinced that going for the other corner seems to be a better option, since the near post shots work better in this game. But that is a part of the learning of a new game. Helping others learn new things like this has always been our goal, therefore we offer one-on-one -on -one coaching opportunities which could possibly open your eyes and see the new game from a much more professional perspective and allow you to climb ranks as soon as possible. Your private coach will be preparing an individual training program for you to focus on your strengths and get rid of your weaknesses. If you're interested, make sure to click the link in the description, pick your desired level of coaching, and start getting better results. Let us continue with our third move, Heal to Heal, a 4-star skill move. It gives you a fast push towards the direction you are currently facing, and it can be really effective in tight situations. To be able to execute it, simply push the right analog stick towards your player's front side, and then once more towards his back. With this quick skill move, you rapidly push the ball on a short line, which could be very effective against the defenders who only try to get the ball from the side. But be aware, if the opponent makes a move towards the ending point of the move, you may easily lose possession. So, watch the defender's behavior, and if you think he is not capable of denying the space ahead of you, go for the heal to heal. As a very good example here, my opponent tries to contest me from the back and pulls my player. With the help of the advanced defending, he might have gotten the ball there, but since I do have a clear frontal side, I execute the heel to heel to push the ball a bit further away from him, get close to the goal, and finish it off towards the near post. Clean. Next up, we got a very old skill move, the drag back. For the last couple of years, I see people always forget about this move with the introduction of the new ones, and this makes it quite deadlier because nobody expects it. It is once again a 2 star skill move which consists of two parts. In the first one you pull the ball back as you hold on to the L1, R1 buttons together while pushing the left analog stick towards your player's back and in the second you select an exit with your left analog stick either towards the back or to the sides or towards forward. That means we get more variations and can use them in different situations. 
the most common usage, the full drag back is the move which allows you to switch towards the opposite direction. That means the left analog stick should point towards your player's back while exiting from the drag back. Forcing the defense to cover one angle opens up the other one, so with the full drag back, you can easily turn around and find the open space you desire. In this case, I convinced my opponent that I would be going towards the upper side by continuing my dribbling. He over-anticipates and commits to the line, but dragging the ball back and pushing it towards the goal side creates the perfect opening for me, which ends up with the goal. Last but not least, fake shots. In the previous titles, they lost their effectiveness quite a bit except for the scoop turn variation, but I see that they're quite exceptional at the start of this year. Once again, since the defenders are not that agile with their movements, sharp turns with the fake shots are reliable. Since fake shots have a lot of variations, I'm going to introduce only two of them the normal fake shots and scoop turn. They are very easy to use. Press your crossing or shooting button first, which is followed by the passing button. You can perform the fake shot in any direction, but I find it most useful with 90 degrees either towards left or right. This can allow you to make sharper turns and get rid of the defender easily. As in this example, I patiently waited for the opponent to lose his ground against my attacker, so the opening towards my right and wanted to make a 90 degree sharp turn. I used the fake shot there, created a decent angle and scored off an easy goal. As a special variation, scoop turn could be much more effective. You could perform a standing scoop turn with players with at least 4 star skill moves or a running scoop turns with players with 5 star skill moves. All you need to do is to execute the fake shot with a 45 degree angle. Going on a counter attack here, as I'm receiving the ball, I execute the scoop turn towards forward to be able to turn the ball's direction directly towards the goal without losing any speed. Once I pass the ball, I realize the defender is going to make his move, so with a quick standing scoop turn, I dodge his tackle, make space for my other attacker who runs into the space, and then use a running scoop turn to get a cleaner angle away from the defender and finish off the attack. So that was it for today's video. We are quite confident adapting to these skill moves will quite give you the upper hand in your matches. Keep practicing and get better. Now that we talked about defense being different and harder this year, I would definitely recommend you to check out our latest video in which we talked about why you might be failing in your defense and how to fix those problems. The video also appears on your screen right now, so click it and watch it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Until next one, take care and peace.